Hey, Mr. Ford here, and I wanted to answer a question that I was getting from my face-to-face -face students, as well as students online that contact me either through my Facebook page, my Twitter, or my email. And here's the information if you want it, so you can follow me as well. And that was about education and training. I am a huge proponent of education and training. In fact, if you're a Gen Xer or a Millennium or anything um, that's still in the workforce that doesn't have a million dollars in a savings account, then you need to pay attention right now. If you take a look at Mr. Ford's resume, you will see that my education is very interesting. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology. I have over 200 graduate hours of medical sciences and life sciences from Palmer Chiropractic in Davenport, Iowa. And Texas Chiropractic in Pasadena, Texas. I have several IT certifications from CompTIA and Microsoft. I have a master's degree in education from Texas A&M. I am one class away from Homeland Security certification, emergency management, and I'm about halfway through a master's of public administration, master's through George Mason, again, in the focus of Homeland Security. And I'm kind of like a biosecurity program for a PhD, but anyways. The reason why I'm saying this is not so I can go, hey, look at me, how great I am. The reason why I'm saying this is because if you are in the workforce right now, you are in competition for the rest of your life. The day and age of us being able to work for a company for 20, 30 years, get a watch and a great retirement are over. I was newly married living in Houston when Enron went belly up. For those of you who don't remember, for those of us in Houston who remember, Enron basically died in a weekend, at least as far as everybody on the outside knew. And I remember watching the news that people who had been working there 20 years, 15 years, whatever, basically having to pack up all their stuff in a bag and leave within 30 minutes. Their lives were devastated. And they really had no skills that translated to other areas. What I'm saying by this is that if you think you're done, once you have your degree, once you have your certification, you are unfortunately mistaken. Constant training is how you stay relevant in the workplace, as well as how you make yourself competitive. It's always nice when you get to pick who you want to work for, who you want to listen to, where you want to work. And education is one of those amazing things that allow anybody in at least America to do that. This country truly is blessed and that is no matter who your parents were, no matter where you lived, what your upbringing was, you can achieve amazing things. When my wife and I were first married, one of the apartment complexes we lived in. We had to move out because there was a gunfight in the apartment below us. Apparently there was an issue over who was buying the drugs, who was selling the drugs, and how much they were costing. We decided at that point we're leaving this apartment complex. With that education and training, we were able to do just that. Every year, every semester, I have students in my class who come from very humble beginnings. Some students who are new to America. Some students whose parents have lived in the very lower socioeconomic status. Students who are very first time college students. Again, the amazing thing about our country is that with education and training, you are in control of where you go. And more importantly, you're in control of where your children end up. By having an education, by giving training, you give your children a leg up, a boost up for their futures. Of course, their futures are up to them. We do our best. So when I start taking a look at my resume and all the education courses I have and all the different training courses, and I'm also taking some filmmaking courses, it's not so I can rest on my laurels. There's a danger in getting trained and getting a job and getting paid well to just stagnate. You can't do that. Or you might be one of those people 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now who are asked to pack up their stuff within 30 minutes and now you have no skill set to fall back on. So from Mr. Ford to you, Always, always, always train for your next job. Always stay relevant. Always be aware of what's coming out there. Cross train, be as commercially viable as you possibly can. If you have any questions you wanna ask Mr. Ford about school, about the job market, about anything like that, I'm more than happy to answer. That to me is the fun part about teaching. And you can contact me, of course, through Mr. Ford at mrfordsclass.com, my Twitter page, or my Facebook page. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a great time out there. Enjoy your studying, focus on your goal, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.